welcome to our virtual open day here at Lockery campus where you'll have the chance to see what we have to offer school leavers interested in all things food related although mostly associated with food technology and food innovation it is here that you can also study courses in food nutrition and health food business management and food packaging and should you choose to stay in the study ladder you can study at the postgraduate and master's level as well our welcoming and friendly campus is steeped in history. We're surrounded by green pastures, rivers and woodlands. And you'll find us just about a mile outside the bustling and busy streets of Cookstown, which has everything a student might need and more. We're within easy reach of the main towns and cities in Northern Ireland. And with a regular bus service to the campus, traveling to college has never been easier. Our campus is internationally recognized for its world-class, state-of-the-art learning facilities and our staff who are experts in their fields of teaching who over the years have helped many, many graduates enjoy very successful careers in the agri-food and drinks industry. And we have certainly come a long way from our early days of teaching animal husbandry skills to farmers' wives over a century ago. We link globally with institutions in Europe, China and the United States. Added to this, we have plans for significant investment to enhance and extend our high-tech, high-spec teaching and residential facilities for you to enjoy during your time as a student with us. We're so glad that you're joining us here for our Open Day and we hope that you enjoy what's to follow. Good evening and welcome to our virtual open day event at Caffrey's Lochry campus. My name is Shane McKinney and I'm the head of our food education programs at Caffrey. Um, our online event this evening is going to last approximately 40 minutes and I'm delighted that you've been able to join us to learn more about our courses, our facilities and the benefits of studying at Caffrey. We're on Facebook Live so please feel free to submit any questions you may have and I'll try to deal with these later on during the event. So what is CAFRI? CAFRI is the College of Agriculture, Food and Rural Enterprise and we have approximately 1,700 students studying agriculture, horticulture, equine and food courses across our three campuses at Greenmount, Enniskillen and Lockery Campus here in Cookstown. We have world-class facilities and links to industry that can lead you to a challenging and very rewarding career in the agri-food industry. We're all about learning by doing at CAFRI, and at Lochry we provide courses at further, higher and postgraduate level. We also deliver apprenticeships um, to support the local food and drink sector right across Northern Ireland. If you're interested in a career in food, well then we have a course to suit you. And many hundreds of our graduates are currently working in positions right across the food industry, right across the north. Indeed, 95% of our food graduates secure employment or enter further study within six months of graduating from Lochry. That's quite a statistic. So let's find out a little bit more then about our courses. I'm joined this evening by Nicola Kerr, our course manager for our further education programmes, and also Dr Gillian Stevenson, our course manager for our higher education programmes. And we're going to talk to Nicola and Gillian shortly. We'll also hear from a current student on one of our degree courses, Claire McInerney, and Claire's going to tell you all about why she chose her course at Caffrey and why Caffrey is a great place to study. We're also going to hear from another of our students, Lynn Deans, and Lynn's going to take you on a virtual tour of the facilities that we have at Lottery Campus. And having completed their studies at Caffrey, we're going to hear from one of our graduates, Sam McBride, and Sam's going to tell you about life after Caffrey working in the food industry in Northern Ireland. But it won't all be talking. We've got some excellent virtual presentations that you'll enjoy, and they'll really give you a better feel for the courses and the facilities that we have here at Lockery Campus. It's not the same as experiencing it in real life, we know, but I'm sure you'll agree. Tonight's event and all of the information and all of the videos and virtual tours that you'll experience is as good as you can get in the present circumstances. So let's move on. Okay, so to start, we're going to talk to Gillian about our higher education courses at Lawry. Hello, Gillian. Hi, Shane. Gillian, 
Could you tell us a little bit more about the term higher education and what courses do we have at Lawry Campus? Okay, higher education is the next step or the next stage in your education journey post A level or post another level three qualification. It allows you to really focus on what an area of interest to you, focus on your career path and I suppose your ultimate aim is to ensure that you secure graduate employment at the end. Very good. And what courses do we have on offer? So at Lockery we have four higher education courses in food, all of which are validated by Ulster University. So we have three BSc Honours, one in Food Technology, one in Food Innovation and Nutrition and one in Food Business Management. And we also offer a foundation degree in Food Manufacture and Nutrition. And these courses are linked to Ulster University? Yes, they're all validated by Ulster University, which essentially means we're a partner institute of Ulster and they, ins to ensure the academic standard and so on, they um, are accredited and validate the degrees and you get awarded an Ulster University degree at the end. And are there any other benefits for our students through that U Ulster University validation? Well, yes, they also get associate students. There's an associate student, so they get some of the membership and s uh, some of the perks of being an, an Ulster student. Gillian, could you tell us a little bit about um, the placement and work experience side of those particular courses. Okay, so the BSc, you can have the opportunity, it can either be three years or four years. If you decide to take a year, 48 week placement, you um, also can be awarded a diploma in professional practice, which is also validated by Ulster University. So that's the BSc. Foundation degree, which is a two year program, has a compulsory work placement on it of 15 weeks, although most of the students end up with about six months worth of placement. And for our graduates who complete their courses at CAFRI in higher education, what type of careers and what type of jobs are they moving into? Well, they're going into management level, first of all, okay. most of them. And um, food technology and food innovation and nutrition are quite similar job opportunities where they would go into technical, new product development, um, quality assurance. Food business management, slightly different, where the, it's more management functions and the types of jobs they might enter would be marketing, sales management, retail, although some of them also go into technical roles as well. So it's right across the entire spectrum yes, of those exactly. job roles in the food industry in Northern Ireland. That's really, really interesting. In terms of the hands-on learning then on campus, tell us about the practical side of it, the laboratories and our food technology centre. Okay, so at Lockery we really are learning by doing and all the courses have been designed to allow the students maximum opportunity to use some of the fantastic facilities. So we do have modules, science modules, food microbiology, food chemistry. Um, food manufacture and food innovation allows the students to use the facilities in the food technology centre and food innovation centre. And it's those skills and those practical hands-on experiences that make our graduates so attractive to the food industry. And we've got really close links with industry partners and our students benefit from bursaries. They do. We have a very strong bursary programme at Lockery. And in fact, this year it's been launched just this week and we have 17 bursary providers that are being offered across all the year groups. Um, that offers financial support for the students, but also a lot of the bursaries offered to second years also have placement opportunities. So it just reinforces again the support the industry has for the graduates, which is great. Excellent. That sounds really good. And of course, fees. What are our tuition fees like? The tuition fees at Caffrey are very, very competitive and they're under £1,800 per year for 21, 22. So very competitive fees. Very good, very good. Um, it's really important as well that we talk about entry requirements and progression opportunities from these courses. Progressions onto our courses, as I said, can be um, post A level or post level three um, qualification. In fact, a lot of our own further education students from Lockery will progress onto the degree, which allows them a good progression route. But after your BSc, we also have postgraduate opportunities at Lockery that the students can progress to. And a lot of their graduates do progress on. That's really, really interesting. Okay, and of course now, um, the really, really key element, where can those listening in to tonight's event find out more information and how do they apply? There's a lot more information on the CAFRI website and if you go into the food section, you'll be able to view um, my presentation on the course where I go, would go into a lot more detail about the modules and the content and so on of the course. To apply for any of the full-time foundation degree or BSc, you must apply through UCAS to um, for application. Okay, very good. Gillian, thanks very much. Talk okay. to you later. Um, so, 
everyone lots of really, really comprehensive information about our higher education courses here at Lawry Campus. Um, just to summarise our honours programmes, food technology, food business management, food innovation and nutrition, really popular, excellent courses. And of course our foundation degree as well in food manufacturing and nutrition. Um, so lots of really, really good opportunities and courses for those who are interested in a career in the food industry and who want to study and learn by doing at CAFRA. Okay. I'd like to move on now and maybe we'll, we'll hear from um, one of our current students. So um, what we're going to show you now is a virtual conversation between Gillian and Claire McInerney, as I say, a student, and she's on our food business management degree. So I hope you enjoy this. Okay, I'm delighted to be joined with Claire McInerney, final year, um, one of our current students and final year of the food business management. So Claire, it's lovely to have you with me today. Um, do you want to start by maybe introducing yourself and tell me a bit about yourself? Yes, I'm Claire from Banbridge and I'm currently in my final year studying food business management at Lockery. Okay, so our students, our current students have come from lots of different routes onto the courses. Can you tell me a wee bit about how you ended up as a Lockery student? Did you know anybody? Did you come to open evenings? How did you end up? So I done a levels at school and didn't really know what I wanted to do after school, but I knew a friend that had done the National Diploma, Diploma at Lockery and he really enjoyed it and he just advised me about Lockery. So I went to the open night and just the the very friendly staff and it seemed really hands on and I seen there was an opportunity to study abroad in America in placement year and I was just told whenever I went to the open day it just seemed very personal and I liked the idea of the smaller college that you're not just a number. Okay um, as a business student you maybe have a wee bit much of the science but you certainly are still involved in a lot of the practical and the learning by doing what has really stood out for you on the course or what have you if you were asked to, what did you really really enjoy so far um i really enjoyed my food supply chain module in first year and we got to go out to farms on tours the industries we got tours of and i like that getting out and seeing the actual industry i also really enjoyed the module we had in second year it was new product development in which my park uh, we'd created my, or a product from my park and it gave me more because i am business i'm not really in the kitchens and whatnot and uh, it gave me that experience of getting into the kitchen and getting more hands-on so it gave us a nice mingle throughout all three degrees amongst everyone yeah and that product development is a module that a lot of students always talk about because i suppose it does develop a lot more um, than technical skills it also develops you know team working and so on and prepares you well then for placement you did one better than that you went to msu and got the opportunity to go to michigan state university after a very stiff competition and interview process so how was that tell me mm -hmm. a bit about that that's amazing i loved it i'd go back tomorrow uh, uh my first semester didn't even seem long enough it was just nice getting that total change because Lockery is so small and it is so personal and then you go out there and you are a little fish in the big pond, you're one of thousands. It was just nice getting the whole auditorium and that American college uh, feel. It was just amazing and then I made the most of being out there. I toured and seen as much as I could so it was amazing. Just right, just right. That's what you're there for. And then of course whenever you come back you had you finished off your year with a placement and where did you go to? I was at Fian Valley Stores, so I was. Um, and would you recommend other people to go on placement? Uh, was that a good experience and has it helped you for final year? Oh, absolutely. It gives you an insight. It's nice, the placement year. I was bouncing about a lot of different departments, getting experience um, in all places, crowd control, sales assistant, warehouse and whatnot. So I really enjoy it. It's beneficial to me whenever I'm in the middle of my final year. It'll help me with my different modules and whatnot. And it was paid, of course. Oh, the way it Yeah, okay, so you are in your final year and if I asked you to reflect or to think about what you really enjoyed or even to give a piece of advice to maybe a prospective student, what would you say? I really enjoy the hands-on approach that Lockery offers in comparison with others and the I love the smaller college feel like you have a really good relationship with your lecturers and I'm friends with everyone throughout Lockery, whether the first year or National Diploma, like we're all a tight knit community and just I do really enjoy it. Like I'll be sad to be leaving at the end of the year. So. You can stay on with us and do a master's and yeah, at Lockery as well, do a postgrad. No, thank you for talking to me. Um, it's been great to chat to you and I wish you well with your final year. Thank you very much. 
Welcome back. I'm sure you'll agree that um, that's given us a really, really on one of our higher education courses at Cal Campus. And so thanks to Claire and Gillian for um, that virtual conversation. There's many similarities between our students' experience on our higher education courses and those who are studying on our further education courses. And to find out a little bit more about that, um, we're going to talk now to Nicola Kerr, our further education course manager. So good evening, Nicola. Good evening, Shane. Uh, Nicola, I wonder, could you maybe tell us a little bit about the term further education to start with, but then a little bit more about what courses we have on offer at Lawry Campus? Okay, so at Lawry Campus we offer two further education food programmes, and these are programmes that someone might like to study post GCSE. We offer a level three extended diploma in food technology and science, and a level three extended diploma in food technology and nutrition. Both of these vocational programmes are nationally recognised, they have no tuition fees, they are equivalent to three A-levels and they are an excellent stepping stone onto higher education or employment. That's really interesting, Nicola. Could you tell us a little bit more then about how does assessment work for these programmes? As these programmes are vocational courses, Shane, assessment is continuous assessment, so there are no exams on this programme. Throughout the course of the two years on the programme, students will undertake a range of different types of assessments, so there's lots of variety. So they could be producing practical reports, posters, leaflets, presentations, portfolios, completing quizzes, all as part of their assessment on the programmes. So it's, it's quite practical. Yeah, it's practical. We talked to Gillian earlier on, and Gillian told us about the practical elements in her higher education experience. Um, but also the work experience that's really key to those programmes. What's the work experience elements of the further education programmes? So on the further education programmes, students get the opportunity to undertake a 12-week work placement and they complete that between year one and year two. Um, we have a placement coordinator on site and they will work with the students to help them secure suitable work placements in the agri-food industry and they could be roles such as quality, technical related roles, laboratory roles and manufacturing related roles. So there's lots of variety and lots of opportunities for further education students. Very good, that's really interesting. And in terms of the, the practical facilities and hands-on learning on campus, what type of facilities could our further education students be using while they're on campus here at Loughry? So one of the key aspects of the further education programmes is the opportunity that the students get to learn by doing. And they have plenty of opportunities throughout the two years to participate in practicals. So that could be practicals in the laboratory, that could be practicals in our food technology centre, practicals in our food innovation centre, or um, undertaking practicals in our sensory suites as well. So there's lots of variety and lots of opportunity. Very good, very good. And what are the entry requirements onto the programme? So Nicola. both of these programmes um, require learners to have four GCSEs or grade C or above. Within that, we would ask for grade C or above in English, maths and science to be eligible for a place on the programme. Very good. And of course, once they've completed the programme, what are the progression opportunities, Nicola? Our further education students have excellent progression opportunities. The course provides an excellent stepping stone into employment or indeed into higher education. So students, many of our students will progress to higher education and potentially onto one of our honours degree or foundation degree programmes. Um, and they're very, very well prepared for education at that higher level. Excellent, very good. And of course, the really, really important information that for those that are viewing this event tonight, how can they apply and when should they apply? So we are now open for applications to both of these programmes and students can apply online at our website www.cafre.ac.uk. If they go to the course page, um, there is a tab where they can apply now and also on the course page they'll find out lots more information about the course including a presentation that I have there which gives them more detail on what they will be studying and what they can expect from their time at Lawry studying for further education. Very good. So the key takeaway from this is that this is an excellent alternative to A-levels, um, fantastic courses for further education at Lochray, um, but lots of information available on the website and we're open for applications now. 
that's it, Shane. We're open for applications and we would welcome applications or indeed inquiries from anybody who may be interested in applying for these programmes or joining us next September. Nicola, thanks very much. Thank you. Okay, folks, lots of information there on further education courses at Glockery Campus. Um, as Nicol has said, they really are a fantastic alternative to A-levels for those who really enjoy learning by doing, and we can deliver that experience on our campus here in Cookstown. Um, the Extended Diploma in Food Technology with Science and the Extended Diploma in Food Technology with Nutrition are excellent courses that provide a stepping stone into a fantastic career within the food industry or, as Nicola has said, direct into um, higher education and further progression for your academic career. So we've found out quite a lot about our courses now, but I'm sure you'd like to find out lots more about our practical facilities and our teaching facilities here on campus. So um, our, our lecturer colleague, Judith McKinley, has prepared an excellent virtual tour of the facilities that I'm sure you'll enjoy now. My name is Judith McKinley and I am a member of the Food Education Lecturing Team here at Lockery Campus where I teach across all of our food courses. I myself studied a food related degree and after graduation worked for a Northern Irish dairy cooperative in technical and new product development roles. Like my colleagues here on campus, my food industry experience means that I can weave personal examples into my teaching, helping my students conceptualise theory with real life situations. The internationally recognised Food Technology Centre here on campus is the centre of our learning by doing teaching facilities, which contains over £10 million worth of food processing equipment. Here students complete practical lessons relevant to their studies and really put what they have learnt about in theory into practice and hopefully make some tasty treats at the same time. A walk through the Food Technology Centre will keep you fit as it's 4,000 square metres in size. Heading through the various pilot plants, you will find learning taking place from ice cream manufacture and brewing through to meat processing. The emphasis on practical based assessment contributes significantly to the quality of students' assignments and coursework. More recently, the college invested in our flagship Food Innovation Centre at the cost of £3.5 million. Students always enjoy taking part in the new product development classes across all the programmes, from the stages of idea generation to the kitchen and sensory trials through to the final sales pitch. It is always amazing to see what novel ideas our students can come up with and the competition between teams is fierce. Both the Food Technology Centre and the Food Innovation Centre are shared spaces between education and the food industry resulting in our students learning from real-time industry-focused projects. Our food packaging centre also works closely with foods, drinks and packaging companies, as well as other sectors such as agriculture, pharmaceuticals, engineering and electronics. Students are taught in cutting-edge facilities and many complete real-time industry-driven final year projects, some of which have resulted in offers of employment before they've even graduated. Our science facilities here on campus are where students spend time analysing food products, ingredients and water using internationally recognised standards. The chemistry and microbiology labs are equipped with the leading technologies, enabling testing to be completed in a timely manner, critical for the fast-paced food industry. Students are well versed in science and technology and gain practical hands-on skills of working in a laboratory which inspires many of them to follow a career in testing and research as microbiologists and chemists. By working closely with the food industry, we are ensuring that our graduates are meeting the demands of their future employers. Learning by doing is the cornerstone that all our courses are built on. So you could be in microbiology on a Monday, a taste panel on a Tuesday, and right through to making fruit pies on a Friday. And with a state-of-the-art regeneration project in the pipeline for the campus, who knows what products you could be making and what trials you could be conducting in the years to come. I hope you have enjoyed this virtual tour of our facilities and I look forward to you joining in my lectures next September. Welcome back. Um, thanks very much to Judith for that excellent uh, virtual tour of our facilities. I'm sure you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Uh, really, really vivid uh, colours in the video and a fantastic uh, capture of um, the facilities we have here at Lockery Campus. 
So you've heard quite a bit about our courses. You've now had the opportunity to look at our facilities. But let's take some time now maybe to deal with some of the queries that uh, questions had, that have come in. We are live on um, Facebook, so give us a thumbs up to let us know you're listening in. Um, I wonder, uh, Gillian, can I ask you uh, a couple of questions, please? Abby is watching, and Abby's in Raffoe, County Donegal. Abby has asked us, how do students from the Republic of Ireland apply to CAFRI? The application process is exactly the same for wherever you're from. So for full-time Ulster validated degrees, the foundation degree in BSc, you apply through UCAS. And for the further education courses, you apply directly online on the CAFRI website. Okay. So exactly the same process for Republic of Ireland students, UCAS, and directly online for further education yes, through the CAFRI website. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much. Another question that Abby had asked as well was in relation to the tuition fees for applicants from the Republic of Ireland. So the tuition fees, again, for the Ulster validated degrees are 1735 per year, and that is exactly the same for ROI and NI students. So exactly the same fees again, so very competitive fees. Okay, thanks very much, Gillian. Okay. okay. We'll come back to some more questions and answers later on during the event. But for now, um, I'd like to move on. Um, one of our students, Lynn Deans, uh, Lynn's an honours final year student, has conducted a quick virtual tour of the campus. And what Lynn has done is she's given us a, a tour from a student's perspective of life at Lochry. So I hope you enjoy this. Hi, my name is Lynn and I'm from Limavati. I'm a final year student on the Food Business Management degree. I have been a resident in halls here at Lockery campus for the last three years. I have absolutely loved it. I'm going to show you around and let you see what's on offer for students who choose to live on campus. To start off the tour, I'm going to show you the Food Technology Centre, or as we call it, the FTC. This is the main student learning facility. This is where a lot of our classes happen, as well as practicals in the production area for innovation kitchens, which are just down that direction. The coffee dock is a great place to meet and grab a coffee or snack during the day, and it's just right beside the library, which is handy. So here we are in the library, which is open every day and to 9pm on a Monday to Thursday. It has an excellent selection of relevant journals and books, as well as an extensive collection of e-learning materials. There are also a number of computer suites here too, for both classes and private work. I know when I was doing a group project last year, we used the library a lot for group work, as everything you need is here. It also is a very lovely place if you want just a bit of peace and quiet too. Here we are at the Conference and Recreation Centre. Again, this is open for students to use up to 10 o'clock at night. There is an excellent multi-gym and fitness suite, and quite often the recreation team will run classes such as Zimba. The students also come together to train and play in team sports like football, rugby and netball. If you're feeling really keen and the weather is good, you can always use outdoor gym equipment which is dotted around the campus. The Mid-Ulster Sports Arena is just up the hill from us to use and there's mountain bikes on loan for exploring campus, so there's plenty to do outside of lectures. This is Shannon Hall, the main area for students staying on campus. Up to 100 students can stay here, and I'll show you around. This is the main reception area for Shannon, so when you first arrive, this is where you will meet the residential support team and get your keys. The support team are fantastic, they're really friendly and helpful. The residential support manager is Judith Mullen. She is available every day to help with any issues or queries you might have. From 5pm every evening, some of the support team are on duty in this office. And again, they are there to help us if we need it. This is the student hub where we hang out after class. There are snooker and pool tables, a smart TV and a table tennis table. There are 100 bedrooms in Shannon Hall, which are spread over three wings. This is my bedroom. It's warm and comfortable and has everything you need. I share a bathroom with three other girls, but there is plenty of room for everyone, which is really important in the mornings when we are all getting ready to go to class. Each floor has its own kitchen, where we can make snacks and cups of tea. It's a great place to have a catch up with friends. We also have the main restaurant if we don't fancy cooking for ourselves. I really enjoy living on campus. It has made me much more independent and I love the freedom of doing my own thing. I hope you've enjoyed me showing you around. All the best with your study choices. You'll not regret choosing to study here.
welcome back. Um, Lynn's video has given us a really, really great feel for the campus, and I'm sure that virtual tour uh, will help you to appreciate um, the perspective of a student living and studying with us at Blocker Campus. Lynn's comments about support available to you when you're studying and staying at Lochry are really, really important, as is her comment about making friends for life, because many of the friends that you can make on your courses when you're studying with us here at Caffrey, they'll be your colleagues as you work through your future career in the agri-food industry in Northern Ireland as well. So a couple of really, really important points from Lynn there. Really, really excellent. So thank you, Lynn. Okay. Um, We'll take another minute maybe to look at a couple of the questions that have come in. Again, we're on Facebook Live, so thumbs up, please. Thanks very much. Okay, um, Nicola, can I ask you a couple of questions that have been sent in by Louise from Ballycastle? Louise has asked, when will uh, accommodation bookings become available for the year 2021-22? Okay, Shane, so we have fantastic accommodation on site here at Lahore, and students who are planning to come and study with us from September 2021 will be able to book their accommodation on our website during the summer of 2021. Okay, that's really, really good. Okay, and what about the cost of staying in the halls of residence? Louise is interested in that as well. So the cost of staying in accommodation varies depending on the type of accommodation and the catering package that you have as a student at CAFRI. There's lots of information on our website about accommodation, including details of the different accommodation packages and prices. There are also contact details on our website for our accommodation manager, Judith Mullen, and Judith will be more than happy for anyone to contact them who has questions about accommodation, um, and she will reply to those queries. Very good. Nicola, thanks very much. Okay. Um, so, uh, Louise, I hope that's some useful information there about um, accommodation and staying in our halls of residence. Of course, at uh, Lawry Campus, our halls of residence, we can cater for approximately 100 students, both FE and HE students, and uh, really modern, convenient, uh, and competitively priced accommodation options for those of you who want to study and stay at Caffrey. Okay, um, we're going to move on now. And uh, earlier in the event, we talked about career opportunities and job opportunities within the food industry. But I think um, we should take a little bit of time now to hear firsthand of the experience of one of our graduates. Uh, Sam McBride uh, graduated from Lawry Campus in 2015. And Sam's now employed with Moy Park as their farm compliance manager. So I hope you enjoy this video. It gives a really, really good representation of Sam's role within the industry. Sam, hello. Hi, Liz. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Sam, thank you for joining us uh, for this conversation as part of our Open Day. Um, on a very sunny day and a happy day in June 2015, you and your classmates walked across the stage, you being conferred with a first class honours in food technology, which is no mean feat in itself. You've been busy since then. Can you tell us what you've been up to since graduation? Yeah, well, as you say, I left uh, Lockery in 2015 and during my final year, I was fortunate enough that I secured a place on the graduate gra uh, graduate program at Glambia Cheese. Um, I spent one year there as a graduate and then moved into junior and senior production manager roles. Um, so after working there for just shy of four years, um, I moved into my current role as a agri supply chain farm compliance manager with Moy Park. Um, and really that role is a, a liaising role between our producers and the processor um, and covering various roles and aspects including finance, people management, transport and logistics, animal welfare and performance and, and, and customer requirements. Busy man by all accounts. Yeah. Spinning lots of plates. Yeah, but ach, it's the best way to be. And Sam, you know, that, that nicely leads into my next question because learning by doing is a, is a big, big ethos of CAFRI and at Lockery Campus, and you'll know this from your time with us as a student. How has the learning by doing experiences that you got during your time with us as a National Diploma student and an Honours degree student, how has that set you up for your career now? Yeah, I think the, the independent learning nature and the practical learning nature uh, of, of Lockery really set us up in terms of a can do, go do attitude going out into industry. Uh, industry is a busy place and somewhat daunting perhaps for graduates, um, but it really enabled me to hit the ground running and, and get settled into my roles. 
Okay. And you, you're in a senior management role now. You started with us as a sort of a shiny faced 16 year old leaving school, maybe not knowing what the world had to hold. Tell us why you opted for the national diploma route um, as opposed to the A-level route. Yeah, scary to think, I suppose, in nearly 11 years from I was at my first locker open day. Um, mm -hmm. But I preferred the, the the practical learning nature of locker um, whilst I, I didn't want to pursue uh, the traditional A-levels and university uh, route. I still wanted to, to push myself towards a degree, yes. And the ND allowed you, the National Diploma allowed you to progress on to the honours degree. And who knew that you would walk across the stage with that first class honours, which is much coveted, I know, by all of our graduates. Um, I guess when we're talking about that, that gives you a chance to reflect on your time at a at Lockery campus as a student. You've moved through different sectors in the industry. Have you met many graduates or many classmates along the way? Oh yeah, Liz, I suppose the, the Northern Ireland food industry is quite small um, in some regards, um, but there's 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 not a role I haven't been in or a company I haven't been in that I haven't met a few graduates. Um, and indeed, um, outside of Lockery, we, there's a dozen or more of us would still be in regular contact with each other. And uh, I know I've got a, a future wife out of Lockery as well. So um, definitely you might say I got more than an education out of Lockery. <laughs> Friends for life and a wife. You can't ask yes. for more than that. That's value for money right there. Definitely. <laughs> and so when you think about that, you know, what sort of highlights do you, do you recall fondly of your time with us? Oh, here we will not mention them all, but um, definitely um, the Lockery formal Christmas parties, even the practicals, you know, getting down the food hall there in the FTC um, and really, really meeting people and, and friends for life was definitely the highlights. And as you say, giving you those skills then to be able to go out into the industry and just hit the ground running and be work ready. On those on those notes and on those words, Sam, I'm going to bring our conversation to a close. I'm going to thank you for your time. I know you're a busy man. I'm going to let you go and get on with all those emails that are pinging in at you while we've been talking. And uh, can I wish you all the best for your future, your upcoming wedding and all the best with your career as well. Oh, thank you very much for the invitation, Liz. Thank you're you. welcome, Sam. Take care. Thank you. Welcome back. And uh, thanks very much to Sam for that excellent snapshot of his career to date within the agri-food industry in Northern Ireland. Um, Sam's role is very much focused on production, um, and that's just one of the many opportunities that are open to food graduates, um, including new product development, quality assurance, technical management, a whole broad range of opportunities are available in terms of um, working within the food industry, uh, with the qualifications that you've gained from CAFRI. So as we approach the end of our virtual open evening event, what have we found out? Well, studying food courses at Lawry provides you with the skills, the knowledge and the opportunity for a fantastic career within the food industry. We've got further education and higher education courses to suit everyone. We have excellent bursaries available and our industry links mean that 95% of our graduates secure employment or go on to further study within six months of graduation. Really, really key statistics. For even more information, please do visit the CAFRI website. There's lots of really, really interactive, useful information that you'll find there. So contact us, please, and visit the website. We've received lots of questions tonight on Facebook Live, and we're going to go through all of those, and we'll provide answers to all of those on the website as well. So please do keep in touch with us, visit the website, and pick up lots of those um, answers to your queries. Thanks very much to Gillian and to Nicola and to all our contributors tonight. Thanks very much to you for joining us live on Facebook. Uh, and it just remains now to say thank you for tuning in. Have a good evening. Stay safe, and I hope to see you soon on Lawry Campus at Caffrey. Goodbye.